welcome um, to another one of my uh, Doctor Who episode reviews and I'm looking uh, through the past of Doctor Who, uh, classic episodes mostly, you know, I've not done any new Who reviews on my own um, without, you know, the calls help on Behind the Sofa on the podcast. But today I will be reviewing The Reign of Terror, another First Doctor, Susan, Ian and Barbara historical. Um, to start off, let's read you a little bit of a description. So the TARDIS arrives near Paris during the French Revolution, a time of great upheaval, bloodshed and terror. Soon, with the Doctor trapped inside a burning flame house, Ian imprisoned, and Susan and Barbara on their way to the guillotine, it's clear this will be one of their most dangerous and exciting adventures yet. So this is by Dennis Spooner, and there are some animated episodes, we may talk about that later. Um, this episode doesn't seem as successful as the previous historical episode, The Aztecs. Um, that episode gave us a lot of potential. I mean... William Hartnell is great as the Doctor, and most Doctors are great. And this story here, I'd say, is a more forgettable story. As you may know, if you're a listener of the podcast, or my previous videos, then you would know that I'm not a big fan of William Hartnell um, historical adventures. Um, but this episode... Uh, join that. I did quite like this episode. There were bits in it which I really enjoyed and some of the plot was brilliant I must say. But other bits of it lacked potential and um, this episode didn't really seem too memorable for me. Um, and that's why I would class it as a bit forgettable. Um, unlike the Aztecs, and I quite like the classic era of Doctor Who, as you may know, and I quite like the black and white era, um, and it's not just because of the, it's not because of the animated episodes or anything that this episode doesn't stand out to me, it's just that some of the storyline wasn't as successful as it could have been. I mean, the roles of uh, the Doctor and um, his companions are all right in this one. Um, from, it's been a tiny while since I've watched this one. And um, I remember William Hutton is good, as always. But Susan and Barbara, yet again, not too memorable as the companions. But the girl companions in this sort of era were not as memorable as they could have been. Uh, let's move on to talking about the animated episodes then. I mean, episodes four and five are animated. And I don't think the animated episodes actually get in the way of the storyline. I think they really fill in the gaps and they're much better than stills and if you've seen my Underwater Menace review you know that unlike animated episodes stills can get in the way of watching Doctor Who um, and animated episodes are really good they're the second best thing uh, to watching Doctor Who in full motion portrayed by the casts and visible by the original casts and that didn't get in the way of the storyline for me. And um, even though this storyline did um, seem to be a bit forgettable, I think there were some really good bits in it. And um, it's not a bad episode. It's just an alright episode. But I wouldn't really say it's one I'd recommend for you to watch as a viewer. Um, but if you've watched every episode, then I would. Um, 
I suppose that's it for today. Um, check out all of my reviews, podcasts and vidcasts um, on the Miss Lewis Moon YouTube channel. And um, next time I will be back um, with a review. My first big finish review. Um, and I will be doing that on Terra Firma. So, um, and I'll, I'll choose why I chose that one. Um, so, um, I'll see you next time. Same time, same space. Ta-ta. <laughs>